Hi everyone, this is me Keith. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to create database using SAMP, PHP my admin. Be sure that you have already watched my previous video in how we are going to install SAMP. So what I'm do doing right now is I just pulled out SAMP, started my Apache service, as well as MySQL. So once you think everything is already started, pull out Chrome. I'm just going to use this account right here. It's empty. This time I'm going to type in localhost slash php my admin. Now when it sits there, so as you can see this is the interface right here for the php my admin. You can create a database through here or through here. Okay, so these are some of the existing, uh, existing databases that I've had. So if ever I wish to create a database in an automated manner or the fastest way possible, I'm just going to type it in here. So I'm just going to create a sample DB as easy as that. I've already created a new database. This time I'm going to create a table for it. So let's say I'm just going to type sample TB or sample table, something like that. I'm going to change the number of columns to three, then click go. That's how easy it is. So this is how you're going to create a database and a table in phpMyAdmin using SAM. So if ever you are going to provide fields or names for each of the fields in our database, what you're going to do is just to type it on the text input area. So for this one, I'm just going to name it as mobile ID and name. So for the ID, I'm going to stick with the integer and in here we have the so-called auto increment. I'm just going to take the checkbox in there, make it a primary key. For the name, I'm going to change it to variable character. I forgot to place the length values or the maximum characters that it can handle. So for the mobile number, I'm just going to provide 20, something like that. As easy as that, you're able to create fields for your table. Now disregard all other fields, you can click on preview SQL so that you have an idea on how it would look like. So you can remove or disregard the engine in ODB. Click close, click on save once it's okay. Now as you can see I've already created a new table with its specific fields. Up next is this area right here. This area is the SQL field. So if you wish to use the traditional scripting method, you can use the SQL field. So going back in here, I'm just going to click on server 127.0.0.1, click on database. So if you want to drop the database or remove the database, just check on it, then click drop and OK. And you're good to go. So that is how you are going to use or create a database and a table in the fastest possible way. Now this time I'm going to teach you on how you are going to create a database using the traditional way. So under the SQL ribbon or tab, just type create database, then what would be the database name that you wish to provide for it. So I'm going to use company DB for this one. Then once it's okay, I'm going to click go. Oh. I think it's better if I'm going to use this example right here. I'm just going to name this one as my DB or my database, something like that. Click go and that's it. So as you can see, if you're going to show the query backs, you already have an idea on what specific code or lines of codes you used for this one. Now, if you wish to create a table, go back to SQL tab again. Then same thing. All you need to do is just to type it, create table then what will be the table name so for this one let's say if i'm going to name this one uh let's say students so i'm going to name this one a students table then um i'm going to provide or populate this one with a specific uh what they call this properties for each of the fields 
Let's make this one fast. There you go, we've already created a code for our students. Or we've already created a table named students. Here's the code. Here's my DB. Going back to SQL, so if you wish to remove the table or delete the table, all you need to do is just to click on or type in drop table, then the name of the table. Click go. You need to confirm it, then that's it. You're done. So your database is already empty. I mean, the table on your database is already gone. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more quick tutorials. Bye for now.